Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Gemini. Gemini, this is your weekly general reading for the 6th through the 12th of January 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. I'm pulling from the spirit of the animal oracles. I'm using the Tarot Illuminati for your weekly general messages. And Gemini, at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an Angels of the Light Oracle for you as well. All right, so let's see what messages that we have come up here for you. Thank you, Spirit. Gemini. All right. Oh, we have it. Dragonfly. Magic. Beautiful energy right there. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Spirit. What does Gemini need to know this week? Six to the twelfth, January 2020. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Spirit. What does Gemini need to know this week? Thank you. All right, we are ready. Situation, Ace of Pentacles. Crossing you, love it, the chariot. And your foundation is the Four of Cups. Recent past energy, we have the High Priestess. Crowning you is the star. Your new circumstance is the Five of Swords. Clarifying the Five of Swords, we have the Two of Swords. All right. Thank you, Spirit. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Four of Swords. Okay. Give me just a moment here. So we have two twos, the number 22, and we have two fours, the number 44. Those are master numbers, 22, 44. I always say, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. Okay, Gemini? All right, let's start here. We have dragonfly magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Oh, I love it. Powerful energy right there. Some of you may be going through a major transformation. It's like shedding old skin, old ways of doing things. Um, I do feel, you know, we're in a, a new year, a new decade. Uh, many of us are setting goals. We are, you know, getting plans and our priorities. Uh, straight we know what we want we know what we're going after and i feel like for for many uh this is letting go of things that are no longer serving you and you going through that transformation here and it's allowing for you to really be able to start a new beginning successfully moving forward with what it is that you're going after and this is you knowing how magical you are knowing how smart you are gemini and creative you are and I feel like you're bringing that air energy, you know, uh, down here and, and grounding it with yourself. You're coming from a space of grounded, uh, listening to your intuition, your own inner guidance. That's that psychic energy, as well as, you know, using logic and reason as well. So, amazing energies. You're bringing many different elements together to create something that's what I'm trying to say here and you know when you do that you start manifesting and you start co-creating co your reality and that's what I see you doing here all right Gemini you have the four of swords as your overall energy you know what this talks about is you taking time out to check in with yourself you're checking in with Gemini and this is very important. This is you taking time out to meditate, pause and reflect before moving forward. Now, for some of you, we're talking about taking a temporary retreat, a vacation, okay, whether it's physical or mental. 
Some of you may have recently dealt with some type of physical illness and you are in the midst of recovery here, okay? So now we have the Ace of Pentacles coming up here as your current situation, amazing energy. This talks about a new beginning, starting something, uh, taking action. You planted seeds and now it's time to nurture what you planted. This talks about reward for effort. This talks about prosperity. This also talks about what you're nurturing here with what you've planted can really grow and expand into something that could bring, bring you long-term financial reward and success. For some of you, this is definitely a new job, a new career, or starting a new business. Now you have the chariot coming up here in your crossing position. I love this. This is the energy of cancer. This is you grabbing a hold of the reins you being in the driver's seat, you knowing what you want, what makes you happy, what makes you, uh, you know, charge ahead. This is you being triumphant. You know, you're moving past challenges and obstacles, okay? And, you know, it's just, it's an amazing energy because this talks about you know exactly where you're going, okay? And you're going after your happiness. You're going after something that you truly want. And there's a promise of success here. And there's also a promise of things picking up very quickly. You know, the chariot, if you've been feeling like stuck or um, maybe, you know, things haven't been picking up like you would like it to, especially if you've recently started a new business, anything to do with contracts, um, things are going to start picking up very quickly for you. Now, if this is talking about you putting in applications for work, okay, or a career, you're going to start receiving word. And you're going to start uh, receiving those emails and phone calls very quickly of things coming back here for you. I'm getting that from Spirit. Nonetheless, you know, this is you being in control over your reality, what you're working towards, okay? And you are just triumphantly moving forward successfully. Now, you have the Four of Cups in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week. And you know what? Gemini, you've had offers here, and it's not what you wanted. It's not what you wanted, okay? Because you're holding out. You're holding out for something. You know what you want. What, what was I saying with the chariot? You know what you want, okay, and where you're headed and where you're going. And here it comes, right here. A blessing, an opportunity, straight from the divine. Whether this is job-related, career-related, going back to school, whether it's you relocating, moving, relationship. You know, it's going to be different for all of you, but here it comes. You've been holding out, and it's coming. And it could be coming from an unexpected place. I'm going to leave it at that. All right, we have the High Priestess in your recent past energy. You're still embodying this energy because it's showing up, Gemini. This is you understanding that you have psychic gifts. You have spiritual gifts. This is you tapping into that inner guidance, that inner well of knowledge that you hold within yourself. This is you understanding that all the answers you're seeking outside of yourself lie within you. So this is amazing energy to have right here. Now, for some of you, this is definitely a caution if you've had that money-making idea or business idea or maybe there's a need for you to keep something secret with what you're working towards so somebody don't steal your idea. Now, if that message is for you, you're going to know it. But this is an amazing energy. This, this energy talks about that you have a deeper understanding of knowledge and wisdom uh, that's way beyond this energy, this earthly experience, okay? You have that spiritual realm knowledge as well, and you tap into it. Thank you, Spirit. Now you have the star in your crowning position. This is the energy of Aquarius. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is you knowing that what you're taking action on here, where you're going, it is tangible. It's within reach. And you're, you know, for many of you, this is a wish fulfillment. This is something that's going to bring you true happiness, emotional satisfaction, joy, fulfillment. It's something you've been wanting. And you're starting to see that, you know, it's here. You can attain this. You can have this. And you're going after it. 
for some of you, this is definitely talking about receiving a healing at this time. Some of you may be doing Reiki. Uh, some of you are literally healing from maybe a physical uh, injury. And this is you getting a healing from spirit as well. Um, I'm also getting for some of you, this is you taking time out to pause and reflect again. You are receiving communication from the spirit world. You know, you're receiving communication from your angels, your spirit guides. And this is you open to receiving that. You know, many of you are paying attention to your dreams, signs, symbolism, and synchronicities as well. Now, you have this energy of the Five of Swords come up as your new circumstance. And I did clarify it with the Two of Swords. This Five of Swords, I always say, pick and choose your battles wisely. But by all, you know, by all means, don't uh back down okay I, i'm getting the energy here there's a need for you to stand up for what you believe in what your truth is gemini this talks about people arguing disagreements of uh, conflicting interests right here now this goes hand in hand you know with this two of swords okay because this two of swords represents you being at some type of crossroads here you already know the answer to the decision you're just not making it because you either don't want further conflict, okay, or you don't want to hurt someone's feelings, but I'm going to say this, you have to do what's right and what's just for you, okay, in your situation, you're here to live your unique divine destiny, not anyone else's, okay, so I do feel like if you're stuck here, you feel like uh, you've been uh, stuck at a crossroads, the best way to break free is to go ahead and make that decision because it's going to free you. It's going to allow for you to move forward. Okay, so, you know, I always say pick and choose your battles wisely, but some battles you definitely have to stand up for yourself. Okay, and you're going to know this if this message is for you. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so let's pull an Angels of the Light Oracle. Thank you, Spirit. I mean, Gemini, you guys know what you want, and you're going after it. I mean, you're going after it hard. We have patience coming up here. Trust the higher forces of life to know what is best for you. And remember that when you are asked to wait, you are being prepared for something even better than you expected. Lucy. So change your attitude to one of acceptance. Relax and take stock. Ask your angel to enfold you during this waiting period so that you can listen to the promptings of the divine. Do not rush off on some wild goose chase of your lower wheel. When the time is right and you are ready and refreshed, the next door will open. Patience is always rewarded. And Gemini, the affirmation to this oracle is all things happen at the perfect time. Oh, I like that. That's amazing energy right there. Okay. All right, Gemini, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love wishes and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Gemini.